Well, here I am, at your assistance, just as I was in my lifelong quest to help and serve others. My position as a warrior for justice led to the creation of the Red Cross. This all began from the day I was born, December 25, 1821, in North Oxford, Massachusetts. I had a rather large family for the time, with four siblings whose family all died before me. My first career as a teacher brought me happiness, but it couldn't satisfy me, because I am the heroic Clara Parton. One day, a scary man in uniform came to my door, and they alerted me of my brother's death, which struck my heart with sorrow and pain. Suddenly, everything just seemed gray. Then I became so aware that these soldiers out there serving us weren't being serviced themselves. Then I knew that, that they needed me, and I needed them to help inspire me. I first began as a war nurse working in the Civil War. Then I helped deliver supplies to many army stations across the world. I was one of my best in time at Francis George, and together we helped rehabilitate African Americans who have been given freedom. I, were, I personally care for these people. Throughout my life, worked hard to help women and African Americans fight for their rights. I myself was white, but that never changes what is right. Then, in August 1881, the Association of the Society of the Red Cross began um, working. Over time, it became better, well, more well known, and more successful. Finally, on March 16, 1882, America joined the International Red Cross. And in that same year, I wrote my first book, The Women Who Went to the Field, inspired by my own past. As the, as the years wore on, I wrote three more books based on my past, my accomplishments, and the society's accomplishments. Sadly, at the age of 90, I passed away, but my message is still strong. Keep striving for what is right.